Am I the asshole? For interrupting my son's date so he could pick up his little sister? I'm a single father to two children, Max and Liza. I usually have Liza in after school clubs so that I'm able to pick her up after work, however last evening I was given some work that had me working overtime, I did try my best to negotiate out of it but my manager told me that the assignment was to be completed by that night so I just did. It was nearing towards 6 pm and I just knew I wouldn't be able to make it to Liza so I called Max and asked him to pick her up. He responded by saying that he couldn't because he was on a date with his GF for their six-month anniversary. I told him that I understood but that I really needed him to get Liza and that I'd make it up to him for interrupting. He just angrily turned off the phone and I thought that while he was mad he had just decided to pick her up. Thirty minutes later I receive a call from Liza's school on where I was because the school was close to closing down and no one was there. Luckily one of Liza's friend's mother said they'd drop her off and that was all good. However I don't really like it when Liza goes with that particular friend, not because of the friend but because of the mother, she has this habit of asking maths questions in the car that she knows Liza is unable to answer and then criticizes her over it. It's all just very mean. I called Max and asked him where he was and that he was in big trouble when he got home, he just told me that he was busy and to leave him the hell alone. He came home at around 9 pm, I told him he was grounded and that he was not allowed to use the car for a good three weeks. At that he got all mad and said that it wasn't his fault I was failing as a parent and unable to afford someone to collect Liza. Just want some insight on this situation, was I being too harsh and am I the asshole? For interrupting his date? Edit this is the third time I've asked Max to pick up his sister in the span of a year and a half. Some people are asking why I don't have a nanny, money is tight. Dad was at work. He didn't deliberately ruin son's date. It was an exceptional work-related situation and he needed son to step up as a family member to pick up his sis. It seems dad does his best to let his son be free, with enrolling his daughter in all sorts of activities to keep her busy until he finishes work. Son could have stepped up this one. Not the asshole dad, and good thing you grounded your son, for his entitled behavior. Okay I'll take the bullet here. Not the asshole. You're not failing as a parent. You had to work overtime, not out drinking or fucking off. Your son was in the wrong here for not helping, turning the phone off and calling you out for it. But you two need to talk this out and discuss expectations. If you expect him to be part of the contingency plan, there needs to be crystal clear on that. And what happens to car privies when he doesn't? Not the asshole. Reddit loves the idea of never having an ounce of responsibility toward anyone but themselves, so they'll try to call you out, but you were 100 in the right. Tell him you could afford to pay someone to pick her up if you didn't pay for a second car. The boss is the R here. I haven't seen anything about OP potentially letting his employer know that he is happy to stay late for the rush work job as long as he has his kids taken care of. This puts the burden back on his employer who is expecting an employee with kids who aren't fully independent to adjust his personal schedule at the drop of a hat. We need to quit normalizing this employer mentality of salaried means you are at my beck and call 24-7-365. Not the asshole Max lives under your roof and uses your car. I think it is pretty reasonable to ask him to pick up his sister in a situation like this. I also don't think you are too harsh with his punishment. He literally ignored your request. He didn't even say he wasn't going to do it so that you could possibly try to find someone else to. And then the attitude after telling him that he was grounded. I'd add another week. Info has this happened before my guy. Majorly not the asshole. He is not an adult and while that doesn't mean he needs to cater to every beck and call of the family, he's still under your roof and has responsibilities. Sounds like a little prick. Edit your son sounds entitled as hell. If I'm reading correctly, it's your car he's using? Yay, he should have gracefully informed girlfriend and dealt with it. What the actual fuck? 
seeing that this is the third time in a year and a half, not the asshole. Sometimes shit happens, and a family has to do things they normally wouldn't do. It's clear this isn't a frequent expectation, and your son's reaction was extremely juvenile, especially considering he's driving around in a car you paid for. The only real R in this scenario is your boss for not allowing you an appropriate work-life balance. If those papers were so important, perhaps they should have made them a priority and not a last-minute endeavor. Sounds to me like your boss is the R. Family obligations come first. Not the asshole. Three times in a year and a half. This was a last-minute thing, you need your job to support them, it can't be helped. Not the asshole. It's one of those situations that pops up sometimes. It's unfortunate, but sometimes unplanned emergency happen in families. I get your son's frustration, but he still should have gotten his sister. Not the asshole it's a privilege you give your son a car to use. It's not like he's babysitting either just picking her up, that's the cost of having access to a vehicle you pay for. He sounds entitled. Not the asshole. He could have taken his girlfriend with him to pick up his sister. It would have been an opportunity for him to show her how responsible he is as an older brother. There's an absurd idea floating around that ever asking older kids to babysit younger kids is parentification. It's not. It's totally normal for older kids to take care of younger kids sometimes. As long as you're not taking up his entire life with childcare duties, asking him to help out once in a while is really not a problem. Not the asshole. I don't think you made an unreasonable request. Families have to help each other out, and I think it's wild your son thought it was okay to leave his little sister waiting for a ride home when he could have picked her up, dropped her off, and resumed his date. Plus, you also offered to make it up to him. It was a small sacrifice to make on his part, and his response was uncalled for. Money is tight, Max mentioned how you failed because you can't afford someone to collect Liza, to stop failing as a parent you need more money so Max can forget using the car. Good job op, not the asshole. Not the asshole but your son was. Obviously it's inconvenient, but not something you planned and you did everything you could to work it around. He definitely shouldn't have responded that way, and I fully support your choice to take the car for a little while. Not the asshole. The fact that he would ignore you and speak to you the way he has is proof you haven't been firm enough. He shouldn't get the car privileges back until he properly apologizes and learns how to talk to you and help out when needed. Let that take as long as it takes. It could take a year and then he can move out if he is so independent. Did I mention your wallet should be closed to all unnecessary items until that apology hits? Oh yeah. Not the asshole. It's your car and we're in a pinch. Time for him to buy his own car. It was an emergency. Not the asshole your son should be able to help. Info is the mother out of the picture? Edit typo. Not the asshole you have every right to expect Max to help out in a last minute crunch situation like this. It's unfortunate he was on a date but sometimes family members have to cover for each other.